Hello everyone. Today I'm going to use Excel software to uh, find the optimal solution for a transportation problem. Here is our example. We have a company that have uh, three different uh, plants that send the uh, uh, electricity in kilowatt hour to four different city. As you see in this table, it's uh, given the shipping cost, supply and demand for the company. Um, the cost of the sending uh, one kilowatt hour from plant one to city one is eight dollar, for plant one to city two is six dollar, and so on. The supply amount for each plant is given in the supply column, and the demand for each city is given in the last row. So first, by how we have to enter the information related to the cost supply and demand so open a new sheet and start to enter the data so from the plant one two and three we send electricity to different cities so there are three different plants to the city And we have four city. So we are going to copy to the left and prefer to make all alignment in the middle and center. So now we are going to enter the shipping cost from the plant to the city. So shipping cost is given. The uh, unit cost here is dollar we can enter this information by just a number or we can use a currency so if we want we can select a cell all the cell and right click then we can we can go to the format cell and in the format cell in the number ribbon in the category part we can choose a currency and the currency that we have here is dollar but we don't have any decimal places so I'm going to decrease it to the zero and press OK now when you enter any number here it's going to be dollar sign uh, appear next to it so from plant 1 to city 1 is 8 plant 2 to city 2 is 9 and 14 and others is so on 9 14 From plant 1 to 3 to city 2 is 6, 12, 9. And for the other city is the same situation. Now we have to enter the supply and demand amount the supply for each plant is given as 35 50 and 40 and demand for each city is given as 45, 20, 30, and 30. Okay. Now, after entering this information, we have to use and create uh, actually another table to use it for making some calculation in the solver. So you can enter a a uh, table as a decision variable I prefer to create a uh, new table here so the information that we are going to find is a shipment that is our decision variable which are x i j so again from the plant three different plants 
to four different cities. I'm going to copy and paste them here. I'm going to use the border to make it a bit clear. And we sent from the uh, actually we send the electricity from the plant so plant or sender and city or receiver <laughs> so as you know the supply that we have here is show the maximum capacity that each plant can produce electricity so the sign for uh, each constraint that we have here is less than or equal so we have less than or equal here so these are our we are going to create a sign constraint a supply constraint and the demand is the minimum amount that we need so the sign for demand is demand constraint is greater than equal so we have the greater than equal here as well so what we are going to do these are our decision variable that we have here I'm going to highlight it here uh, these are our supply constraint here this is our supply constraint and here is our the demand constraint and also we have the, the Z which is a total for our total we can write total here like this and this is going to be our objective function so here what is our objective function objective function is the transportation cost multiplied by amount of the shipping so it means that 8 multiplied by x11 the amount that is going to be trans uh, ship from uh, plant 1 to city 1 and so on so here I'm going to use a new function we call it some product we can write them one by one for example 8 multiplied by uh, x11 6 multiplied by x12 and so on but because it's taking so much time we are going to use a new function we call it some product as you see here the sum product that we have So we are going to use this function then I'm going to open the parentheses for the sum product as you see we have a different array that we have to add the first array that we are going to add is the uh, shipment cost the second array we have to put the comma and select the second array it means that our decision variable that we have here so this is going to be our uh, objective function value which is here so I'm going to make it bigger to be uh, see clearly so what is the sum product sum product it shows the first array which is here the shipment cost multiplied by decision variable the amount of the shipment that we have here so we use this function to create the objective function for the constraint part we have to make the sum use the sum function or you can write them x11 x12 x13 plus x14 or you can simply write sum open a parenthesis select the cell and close the parenthesis press enter this is going to give you the first constraint which is a supply constraint for plant 1 now we have to copy it for the other constraint plant 2 so you can simply take copy to the down or write one by one so I prefer to write it one by one instead of copies to make a practice for you sum 
number one this is the first x21 plus x22 x23 x24 now press enter again sum the same situation open the parentheses put if first you have to put the equal sign then you have to write the function name then open the parentheses uh, x31 plus 32 and so on press enter for the demand concern we have the same situation equal sign sum now this time we have the column the sum of the column which is x11 x21 x31 so you have to copy select them all of them press enter you can write one by one or you can simply write one function and copy it to the other cell as well so it's going to give you the same result okay now after you enter all of this information the objective function that we have here the constraint supply and demand constraint now we can go to the excel solver to use it to make a uh, find the optimal solution so click on the solver so in the first step as a set objective we have to select the value for objective function that we calculate in this cell h6 so i'm going to select this cell then we go back now we decide about the type of the, our uh, objective function is it the minimization and or maximization the transportation problem is a minimization problem so we have to select min now we have to go in this third part by the changing variable cell by the changing variable cell is about the decision variable our decision variable is here so i'm going to select all of them so i'm going to select actually this table the empty part that we have here so these are our decision variable or xij and the last part is we have to add the constraint as you remember for each constraint we have a left hand side which is a cell reference sign and the right hand side which is here so first i'm going to start with the uh, supply constraint so the left hand side for the supply constraint is here so i'm going to select this cell i can select one by one or can I select the group because all of the supply constraints are less than or equal, so I can select them as a group for plant 1, which is the first uh, supply constraint, second and third. This is the left hand side, the sign is less than or equal for the right hand side, is here 35, it's a group 50 and 40. I have to select them as a group, or I can select one by one left hand side sign right hand side because all of them as i explain again because all of them has the same sign that's why i select them together then press add now i'm go to the demand constraint for the demand constraint i'm going to do the same since all of them have the greater and equal to sign so i'm going to select them as a group so the left hand side is going to be here the sign is greater than equal and the right hand side is this part that we entered here as a demand and press ok now we have a supply and demand constraint together so now as you know we have to make unconstrained variable non-negative this is a sign restriction you can use any type of the method we use simplex we prefer the simplex method and press solve as you see we find the optimal solution solver find the solution all constraint and optimality condition are satisfied it means that all constraints are satisfied we have a feasible solution now press ok as you see this is the value for objective function and this is the value for the uh, decision variable so for example here x11 is 0 x21 is 45 x12 is 10 and so on.
thank you for watching this video